Hey, what's up guys, Sean here, and I just wanna shoot a quick video with a question that I get a lot when it comes to using YouTube for church. Uh, it's such a powerful platform, YouTube, and it's such a great uh, way to upload content and reach more people and extend your message. But one of the people, uh, one of the things that people want to get is, of course, more subscribers. They want to get more views and uh, more just engagement on their videos. I just wanted to talk about a couple practical ways to just increase the amount of subscribers you get on your uh, YouTube channel for your church. And also make sure to, to uh, visit youtubeforchurches.com if you haven't already picked up uh, the checklist that I have for just optimizing your videos. And a lot of those strategies will help you as well when it comes to um, you know getting better results with YouTube. So let's jump into these. How do you increase the subscribers for your YouTube channel? Well, the first thing is the CTA. What's that mean? That is giving calls to action. And simply put, that just means that in your videos, ask people to subscribe. You know, right now, maybe you should subscribe to this YouTube channel for just more tips like this when it comes to church media and church leadership. But, uh, you know, give calls to action, just like that. And so you could, um, at the end of your video or at the beginning, uh, maybe you have, you upload weekly sermon messages and you can have someone introduce the message and say, hey guys, here's the latest message. Uh, we're in this sermon series. Here's the details our pastor's about to teach and make sure to subscribe on this YouTube channel for uh, you know notifications when videos, new videos come out. That's a call to action. Just letting people know what they should do. The other thing is at the end of a video, you could say, um, you know, maybe it's content that's just for YouTube, like a weekly teaching video. At the end, just say, hey guys, thanks so much for checking out this video. Make sure to subscribe so you can always be notified when we release more videos. That's the call to action. So uh, definitely do that. The second thing, end cards. And I call the time at the end of the video, and you'll see one at the end of this video, it's just this opportunity where a lot of times when the content is finished with your YouTube video, have it shrink down and fit inside of a card that educates about your website, educates about maybe other videos you want them to know about, and also has kind of a button or a reminder to subscribe. It's a great way to uh, you know, end your YouTube videos and it's something that you should do maybe either before the video even stops, like it, you will notice in this one, I'll probably still be kind of finishing up and the end card will start, or maybe put some bloopers or something during it. You don't want people to just drop off. You want them to still hang and know a little bit about uh, you know, that call to action with the end card to subscribe. And then lastly, uh, educate your church. You know, if you want more subscribers on your church YouTube channel, let your church know about your church YouTube channel. And the way you can do that is, of course, uh, promote your channel on your other social media platforms. Um, you could send an email to your church email list to say, hey guys, we're posting the messages weekly here, or we're posting video announcements or just other you know cool videos and educate your church about that. But you can also do it on things like your print media. You can put it uh, in, in news, you can put it on bookmarks that maybe you give out to your church on your bulletin, so many different opportunities. So what are just some ways to let your church know about your YouTube channel? If you wanna get more subscribers, uh, you probably have a lot of people that don't even know the stuff is there yet, doesn't even know your channel's there. And so if you educate your church, you'll see more people subscribing to your church. When you give that call to action, do the end card, and then have them start showing up because you educate them, you're gonna see your subscribers increase. So thanks so much for checking out this video, and hey, subscribe on YouTube uh, for more tips and tricks when it comes to just church communications, church media, and church leadership. And uh, if you haven't already downloaded the free guide I put together, make sure to go to youtubeforchurches.com and uh, there's a, you can get that for free. It's a checklist of what to do every time you upload a video to YouTube. Just help you with some uh, tips and tricks and help you go further, faster with media. Again, this is Sean. Look forward to connecting online more and uh, keep crushing and we'll talk soon. Logo Sting for your church. Stay tuned. If you want to use YouTube better, go to ProChurchTools.com and watch my stuff, not his.